Hi, this is Gary with Nagmos Now. On today's episode, let's look at a more advanced method of printing any document as a PDF. So many times in the past, and especially in episode 181, I've showed you how to print any document from any application as a PDF file and have a really good digital copy of it to send via email or keep for your own records. Well, you can go even further than this and there are some advanced options that you can do when printing a document as a PDF. Let's take a look. So just as an example, I've opened up a Pages document. I've chosen one of the default templates. Uh, this one here has got a lot of different things going on, text, graphics, nice layout. So I'm going to use this as an example. Now if this is your document and you want to save it as a PDF, you can of course use the share option and export it as a PDF. But just to demonstrate how this can be done from any document, we can do file print and then of course choose the PDF button here and many options are presented. So you can do things for instance like mail as a PDF, save as a PDF X format, PDF to iPhoto, things like that. But what I'm going to choose is the most versatile of all of those. It's open PDF and preview. So what this does is it actually saves it as PDF in the highest resolution with all the bells and whistles and opens it up in preview which is of course Mac OS X's PDF viewer. So you've got it basically opened up directly in the document. You haven't saved it anywhere. And this takes you into preview where you have a lot of different options and you can save it out from here. So it's kind of a two step thing. First get it out of whatever application you're using, whether it's Pages, Word, Safari, whatever it is, and into preview. Now that you have it into preview, essentially as a PDF, you can do a lot of different things to save it. So to just save it as a regular PDF, all we need to do is actually save or save as because it's already a PDF. But we can do more than that. We could actually hit save as and then we've got some options. We can choose a format instead of saving it as a PDF we can do different things like we can save it as a PNG graphics file or a JPEG graphics file, all sorts of crazy stuff. And we can just leave it at PDF and when we do that we get to choose some filters. A lot of interesting things you can do here. For instance, you could save it as reduce file size. So PDFs can be very large especially if there's large images in them and maybe you don't want a final document here. You just want to send say a proof off to somebody of an article that you're writing or just for something for somebody to review. You can use this reduce file size here to actually send them something that compresses the JPEG images a little more and takes a little bit of the quality out but it's still very readable and usable. Also you can even choose things like black and white which draws all the color out and creates something that's uh, very easy for somebody just to proofread even though all the color from the images will be gone. Another option you've got here is to encrypt this file. So you click that and you can add a password and verify it. Now the PDF can't be opened by another person unless they have that password. They try to open it in preview, it's going to ask them for the password. If they don't have it, we'll let them see it. So it's a way for you to send secret documents. But you can go even further than that because these quartz filters here are editable. You can actually add your own to it. So say if reduced file size isn't just quite right, maybe it doesn't reduce it enough or maybe it does too much. Well there's a way to make your own filter. What you need to do is look for and run an application called a color sync utility. And when you do that you can get a list here. You click on the filters list and you get a list of these filters which match the list that you can use when exporting a PDF including the reduced file size. And you can actually look in here and see what the settings are. So for instance reduce file size uh, sets image sampling down to 50 percent, sets image, image compression to JPEG with a medium quality. Now you can create your own by pressing the plus button here at the bottom or you can simply duplicate an existing one by clicking on this little button here on the right choosing duplicate filter. You get a copy there that you can edit. So I can scroll down here and look at the image sampling and I can actually alter these values and image compression. And you can play with these to make your own version of this. You can also add an additional filter. it will go off the screen a bit here but you can click here and add a color management component for instance. Intermediate transform I could see is how the black and white was created. So I can set this here to have the saturation all the way down for instance or play with some of the other things here so that I can create maybe something that's black and white and compressed or perhaps try to find a good setting for grayscale images to compress the image even further. A lot of different things you can do with it. Once you're done with that, the next time you go to save a document from preview, you'll have as a quartz filter option the 
filter you created, in this case reduce file size copy. And you also notice that some other applications like Neatworks add their own Quartz filters into the mix. So a lot of cool things you can do by going from your application, printing as a PDF into Preview, and then using Preview to export with special settings from there. And this is great if you're sending PDFs often via email or even if you're uploading them to websites. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Thank <laughs> you.